G'day guys, Elfie here. Um, I just thought I, I needed to show this. I tweeted out this, or a picture similar to this, uh, just the other day. I am loving, absolutely loving, the new custom texture pack support. This is my cell, and this is the sort of view students are going to get when they come into this particular map. Um, it's, I'm, yeah, I'm flabbergasted at how well this has turned out. I think this looks fantastic. Um, there's still quite a bit of work to be done before I use it with students, uh, but this custom texture pack support has just allowed me to do some fantastic things, which if you watched my last video includes things like having nuclear pores where there's a hole in the nuclear membrane um, and also holes all through the endoplasmic reticulum membrane, um, but just things like that, and also at some stage I'll get rid of that G on the this is glowstone and then there will just be invisible lights so the light sources won't so the blocks won't interfere with the ambience if you will so my aim with this particular cell is to immerse the students into a cell um, and then I've got a, a plan for for having the kids go on an adventure and and tour through the cell. Now this is just purely a visual. What they will do is they'll be teleporting to particular areas that I will, am yet to create and um, have to carry through some, some objectives and, and get the cell working. So the plan, or my plan is, that they will have to carry, carry um, like track energy through the cell. So they'll come in here, they'll have a look around, they might have be able to wander around and, and have viewing platforms that are invisible and, and show the students um, that the orange thing in front of them is the mitochondria and this bluey green thing here is called the Golgi apparatus and the pink thing is the nucleus, inside the nucleus there's the nucleolus and, and things like that so you can see the nucleolus in there and this big red thing is the endoplasmic reticulum and the blue thing over here which you probably can't see in this light so that little blue ring there is the vacuole and the yellow thing over here is the lysosome and, and things like that and these black things are ribosomes. But that's just going to be purely immersion in a visual environment, um, I'm hoping anyway. And then from there they will have to go and complete a job. And that job will be to, to help the cell uh, work by providing it with energy. So their first stop will be they'll, they'll teleport over to a... Uh, a section of the cell membrane and they will be able to see glucose coming into the cell and I will modify some textures so that so that it looks more like glucose or whatever but they will get some glucose as it comes into the cell and from there they will then take that glucose and they will teleport over to a mitochondria and then from that mitochondria they will do something and convert that glucose into ATP or energy for the cell and then they might head over to the nucleus and give the nucleus some energy and get some RNA in return, some instructions um, for a protein. And then from there they will go over to the to the ribosome and where they will convert those instructions into a protein, or the, the, at least the the amino acid chain for a protein. And then from there they'll head over to the ER where they will come across something else and they will have to convert that protein into a final product. And then they will head over to the Golgi apparatus, excuse me, and then they will have to package that uh, protein ready for export from the cell. Um, and then from there they will go back to a different section of cell membrane and they'll have to drop energy off and send the cell on its way. So at each point of the way they will have to give up some of the energy that they acquired from breaking down glucose. Um, I'm really excited and hoping I can get that done in time. I just think um, that adventure style, so the immersion in, in this particular area of the cell and then being able to go and, and track energy through the cell and, and, and drop off energy at certain points and get things in return. Um, so I've got I've written all this down and got this great plan about what, what each item is going to be and what texture pack adjustments I need to make and things like that. I've just got to find the time to do it. I just thought I'd give you an update on the cell and, and let you see what it was looking like. Um, I'm just, as I said, as I've been saying to the developers, the, the custom textures is the biggest step forward in my mind to, instead of immersing students in a Minecraft environment, immersing students in a virtual world. Um, where anything is possible. As you can see here, this is not 
um, Minecraft anymore. This is this is specifically scripted for for the cell. Like um, it, it's yeah, I'm absolutely floored and amazed at, at what I've managed to achieve here in terms of immersion and, and hoping I can continue that into the, the adventure style carrying carrying energy through the cell and helping the cell do its job. Um, that's it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. And I will keep you updated with progress on this from now on. <laughs> the funny thing was that... Uh, I didn't need this till you know halfway through the year so I stopped working on it and it's been probably three to four months since I stopped working on it and then I realized just the other week that I need it now as in I need it in a couple of weeks so I've been working madly and if I think the last video you guys had was I had almost I think I had the bottom half of the cell membrane done but not the top half so i've been working like a madman getting all of that done as well as customizing textures and and checking what they look like and everything like that so it's really getting somewhere now and, and now that i feel like i'm i'm getting somewhere i'm i'm working on it a lot more as well so thanks very much um i'm going to go and try and record a bit of a world edit tutorial now so that should be coming up in the next few days as well um as always thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you next time.